Hello there, so here is a walkthrough on how to open the scene and uh, set up the materials. So what you have to do actually is to go to files, open, and then you go to the, f the main folder I sent you, which is uh, this link, and you take the scene accordingly to your uh, 3ds Max version, and in my case here I will open the 21, 2021. So here we go. And once you open the scene, you wait till it loads. So here we go. And now that we have our scene here, we have the layers uh, material. Uh, the, the objects in the scene here, if you don't have this window, you should just click on this double layer explorer and you will see it somewhere in your screen therefore now you have to select like the walls for example and you go to modify panel here and you have this modify material which will uh, control the materials so um, here it is already set up on animation here so to add more keys you should only like click an auto key set the frame here for example and then change it so if you notice here it changes changes accordingly to the number you put here so the same thing if you want to go like for example for the floor you select the floor you take its material ID you chose the frame and you change the material so let me change the, the preview to see better the floor so as you can see while I click it changes so what happens here is actually if you go to the material editor here you will have those different views I set up this one is for the, for the wall and those two are accordingly to the folders you send me with the textures for the for the for the floor so they are set up in material IDs of materials and here is the here is the multi material parent those are the children so in this one if you click in any one here you have different layers with the textures and here is the here is the texture the path which you can click in this button here and it will go to locate the texture from the main folder I send you with all the textures so from here you can for example change if you like if you like the the texture but I don't recommend because I set all the textures here exactly as the materials you sent in your folders which I guess you point them and this one is for the wall with the colors same thing you can change the the wall colors from here or anywhere else so just make sure to always um, save the textures to specific folder with the project file else you will have um, issues with the uh, xref link assets in 3ds max so that's all what you need to do so you have only to change those numbers here or you can change the textures later on the material editor as I showed you and once you do that to render you can go here to set up first your render so you should have the late the latest V-Ray GPU or CPU 5 which I guess is uh, 5.00.05 fix 2 and from here you can actually we de deactivate the auto key so from here you do the range if you like for example here we can do up to 34 uh, frames 
or just um, um, a specific single frame we can put here like, like for example if I'm here I hit render it will render this one or uh, put the range of your timeline which you can modify later from here from here you can specific the number of frames in timeline so you can add more uh, colors and um, also the size of your render and that's it and once you set up this basic settings also don't forget this uh, the file save where you can save it and you put here the formats etc so you save with the name and once you set up this for example me I will just do for single no need I will not specify any um, any save folder so once you do that you can for example show here from this icon the frame buffer V-Ray and you can have this button for direct render production render it's the same thing with this button or with this button or with the 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 shift Q or you can hit here to see a real time render which will uh, allow you to see what you do in real time and then um, um, do the final render for example here let's try the the real time rendering and here I'm running it on G GPU that's what a while because it's calculating actually now the cache it's loading the GPU the textures and checking the CUDA version etc and once it's calculated the cached light it will show the final image so here is it for example here if you can see the floor I can modify directly here without keyframing For example, if I can, if I want to put another one, see how it changes in the view. For example, if I select the wall now, I can check from here or from direct from the viewport, and same thing if I change. Here the ID number materials will change accordingly to the setup in the material editor. So once you are okay with all of this, you just have to stop the real time render and hit your render button and save it. And then you can add filters here if you like to modify the look and the colors of your scene and after you finish this one you can take the final picture and put it um, inside the Photoshop and uh, change the smart material inside it with your picture the mask just put it in the background layer and uh, everything else will be done automatically so that's it thank you I hope you will understand how to manage it and good luck.